We've continued to make progress on citizens' rights. We're now seeking political solutions to the last outstanding issues on both sides. Earlier this week, uh, as Michel said, we published a detailed note setting out our new administrative procedures for European Union citizens seeking settled status in the United Kingdom. This delivers on a commitment I made actually in the last round of negotiations uh, and uh, discussed in the um, press conference too. We listened carefully to the concerns about this process and we've responded. As our paper sets out, the new procedures will be as streamlined and straightforward as possible and will be based on a simple transparent criteria laid out in the withdrawal agreement. This week we've discussed options for resolving issues ranging from family re reunification to the export of benefits. For example, we've been clear that we're willing to consider what further reassurance we can give to existing families, even if they're not currently living together in the United Kingdom. There are few areas where our citizens need to see further progress and movement from the European Union. On the mutual recognition of professional qualifications, uh, the European Union's approach remains more narrow than we would like. We believe it's only right that people holding qualifications or in the process of acquiring them should be allowed to continue or begin their careers as they do now. We want to protect their livelihoods in line with our broader approach that people should be able to continue living their lives as they do now. On voting rights, we're disappointed the European Union has been unwilling so far to include this in the scope of the withdrawal agreement so as citizens may lose a right which they currently enjoy. However, if it does fall out of scope, we will discuss this issue bilaterally with Member States. <coughs> Finally, this week we've sought to give further clarity on our commitment to incorporate the agreement on citizens' rights into UK law. This will ensure that European Union citizens in the United Kingdom can directly enforce their rights in UK courts, providing certainty and clarity in the long term. We made clear that over time our courts can take account of the rulings of the European Court of Justice in this area to help ensure consistent interpretation. But let me be clear, while we share the same aims, it remains a key priority for the United Kingdom uh, as we leave the, United, uh, the European Union to preserve the sovereignty of our courts.